The game that stands out to me is Northwestern versus Vanderbilt, just because Northwestern hasn't been in the NCAA tournament for 78 years. They're a good team, and they're coached by Chris Collins, who was a Duke player when the Jazz's Quinn Snyder was a, first became a full-time assistant coach at Duke, so they have, he has a great connection with that family. So I'm really interested to see how the Northwestern thing plays out. Individual players, there are a lot of good storylines that way. The, the guy I'm most interested in is Arizona's Lowry Markinen. Because of the Pac-12 schedule rotation, the Wildcats didn't play in Salt Lake City this year, so haven't been able to see Markinen, who was a big University of Utah recruiting target coming out of Finland. A couple of guys on Gonzaga, Zach Collins being the, the notable one, and, and Killian Tilly, the other, who also were heavily recruited by the Utes. So between those three guys, it, it'll be fun to see how they play for the first time in Salt Lake City. I'm really interested in seeing what Northwestern will do. That Northwestern Vanderbilt game should be a lot of fun. Northwestern, the first time in this tournament ever. A lot of uh, buzz about them. And of course, having the number one seed here at Gonzaga, how good are the Bulldogs? A lot of people think they're really, really good. Others, not so much. Some people think Arizona is the best team in the West. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know the answer to that question. Right now, I would lean toward Arizona, even though the Zags beat the Wildcats earlier this year. Really looking forward to seeing Mike Dom play. This is a guy that a lot of people haven't heard of from South Dakota State. Scored 51 points against Fort Wayne earlier this year. His teammates compare him to Dirk Nowitzki. That's high praise, but he does play inside out as a big 6'9", can shoot it from all over the floor, so that should be a lot of fun to watch.